What's good people, this is your boy Buzzin. You're watching Behind the Scenes for Sele, 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 Mama. I'm from London slash Essex. If you know, you know. You get me? So anyway, enough of the games and all that. Let's get to work. This song here, is a song that has just come out of nowhere for me. It's literally, it was literally just an idea. You know, we had a bit of fun or whatever, but the response has been serious. <laughs> How this song came about was, I went to go visit Frenchie in his studio, played him a few ideas. He loved one particular essay kind of vibe. I, like it's like an essay house kind of vibe he was loving it he's like he's always wanted to do an essay house kind of track i was like okay i didn't really see it because i'm thinking yeah french you good but you an essay house <laughs> i gave it to him because his studio is around the corner where he works so shout out to zone studio shout out to the whole team shout out to jesse man of the moment trust me um so yeah left it with him he came over and i played it when he played it he played literally just the beat and his vocals and Naira's vocals, but then he had like a, I don't know, it sounded like a Zulu choir. And <laughs> so I said to go and it was just that was the, just the. As soon as I heard that, I was like, oh my god! I really didn't know what that means. And he was like, fam, this is a hit song. This is a banging classic Congolese hit song. So, but when he was telling me, then we did the research, and I was thinking, raw, this is, you know, me. Obviously, I went to uni to study music. So if you if you study music, then you know about referencing and stuff like that. So as soon as he showed me that, I was like, yeah, I'm doing it. This is how it went. So he came through now. So what he left me with was the vocals and the drums. So this is pretty much what it was on the track. So okay, boom. As soon as I heard that, I thought okay, now to bring in like because the drums and the whole vibe was the whole essay vibe, I still wanted to maintain that within the track. So I did things like um pianos and strings and stuff like that. There's the strings. This, this hair, I don't, people might not realize it, but this is like part of the money in the tune. This mamba hair. Being in the whole Afro vibe and the essay feel, you have to have like your mambas and your percussions and stuff like that. So we put that in there. So this is how it sounds. Synth now. More kind of like still band kind of percussion sounds as well. So that's that. Dun, 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 dun. Anyway, when you hear that, you already know what time it is. And then this is for me the signature of the track, the whistle. So accompanied with like all the other, you know, atmosphere, theatre sounds, the pianos, the, what I like to call it, classical instruments. thing I wanted to add is like there's a sound I don't know if people really hear it but it's very important in track it's like a pad I'm being technical with the names but I'm trust me I'm not being as technical as I could be but yeah <laughs> a pad so.
that's that spacey shit. That's that epic. That's that, you know, I, I can't even, I can't even expect. That's that buzzing shit right there. You see it? That shit there is this, is this somewhere else. You know what I mean? So amongst that and other things, this is how it all sounds. This is it without no vocals there. So this is just how the beat sounds. <laughs> After that, it was pretty much done to be honest with you. Like, there wasn't really much that needed to be done. The main thing with this whole song, it's so simple, but the main thing was the arrangement. Like, I have to stress the arrangement on this track was really thought of. Like, it wasn't, I think that was the most thought of thing of this track. We, we really freestyled in regards to the creativity of it, but the arrangement and how it came in and how it felt was, I think that was very important. I should, I should add that. So, yeah. The last thing we added was like a trap kind of, you know, hip hop kind of vibe at the end, just because, you know, we can. And, you know, I feel like these days when I listen to a lot of UK music, it's not very dynamic in the sense that, you know, certain things don't really, the same thing goes on all the way. I'm one of them people, I really like to blow your brains. Like, every, like I, I would say, like, Try to treat every track like it's my first and my last track. So if they hear it, they say, man, this guy went in, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's really it. So with this track, I've, I had to go in. So that was that was the vital thing. That I think for me, once once that was on, it was done. So let me just play that bit to you. Um. that don't know I always put like a signature on my tracks so you know it's a buzzing production um, so if you ever had if you ever had this on a track <laughs> and this, <laughs> this is Behind the scenes or the making of Sele 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 <laughs> Mama. <laughs> I love doing it like that, trust me. Go check it out on YouTube, Sele Mama. Uh, please go out, support that. So my um, name is Buzz and Producer. Go check me out. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. It's all Buzz and Producer. B-U-Z-Z-I-N Producer. That's it really. Um I wanna thank everyone for the support and love, shout out to promotions, shout out to everyone that I'm working with. There's a lot of songs in the pipeline. I don't wanna call no names, I don't wanna, you know, spoil the surprise. But um, yeah, man, keep tuned, man. That's what I can really say, man. Mad love, like I said, mad love and appreciation to everyone that's been supporting me thus far and further on, you know? And it's buzzing. Cool.